We have more coronavirus cancellations in the news. The, this week's football game involving Signal Mountain and East Ridge has been canceled because of a coronavirus positive test at Signal. And also the Macaulay game at uh, Battleground Academy has been canceled this week. Paul Shaheen will have more on those stories coming up in sports in just a few minutes. Many nonprofits are relying on virtual events to raise money and awareness on various causes. Tennessee's ALS Association is among them, and Channel 3's Michelle Heron joins us live from home. Michelle, I know you work closely with the ALS Association, so tell us what's going on there. Yeah, hey David, you know, it's really hard because large gatherings are just out of the question right now, not only because they're prohibited, but also, you know, those that are living with ALS, they are really, really vulnerable to COVID. So it, you just you just can't take that chance of being around other people because of that potential for it to spread. Today, I got to meet a man by the name of Johnny Schaefer. He touched my heart. You know, he not only is the biggest Vols fan that I have ever met, and I've met a lot living here in Tennessee for a long time, but uh, he hopes that events like this walk that's coming up will not only give him more time with his family, but also more chances to see the Vols win some more football games. Johnny Schaefer and his wife were two of the millions around the world who participated in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge in 2014. Johnny had no idea two years later he would have the progressive neurological disorder. The disease has progressed through Johnny's body, impacting his ability to talk, walk, and use his hands. I wouldn't wish it this on anybody. Terrible disease. There is no cure for ALS, only drugs that help slow its progression. But organizations like the ALS Association of Tennessee help give Johnny a better quality of life. They put you in contact with people with uh, wheelchairs, um, pulmonology, uh, physical therapy, all the benefits. The nonprofit also helps. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Those who care for people like Johnny, spouses, family members, and friends like Lola Thomas. He's the kind of person who would just do anything in the world for you. He's, he's been a very good friend to me. Next month, teams from across the state will walk to defeat ALS. The event is being held virtually to keep everyone safe and help raise money for services those like Johnny depend on. We're thrilled about that. Um, we just want to raise awareness and raise that money so research can be done. Um, support for people living with ALS and a cure to be found. The life expectancy is three to five years. So, plan on beating that. 